Ghetto Reaper here. Um, got a YouTube channel, Twitch channel, Twitter, Facebook, whatever. Um, do a favour if you do see this video, you like my stuff. Um, I am going to be Twitch streaming a lot more. Hopefully getting some more content on there, getting more into this. Um, I've not done any PC gaming for nearly eight years. and only got back into it in June. I've been a console gamer for the God knows how long, and was solely console gaming for a while. I know Shock Horror, not very good. Um, I see my mistake now. Um, when I try to go back to play a game that, say, I play on a PS PC, for instance, Rainbow Six Siege, absolutely love that game. When I then go back to play it on my PC, I see it. It's like it's almost in slow motion. But anyway, yeah, so I upgraded back to PC recently, uh, June, uh, without not doing it in eight years. So... I bought this PC, which was a pre-build from a guy. He custom-built it. I say custom-built. It's not a very good job. I have had to change things. When I did get it, um, certain things were wrong in it at the time. Um, he didn't have some of, like, these up here weren't plugged in at the time as well. So he couldn't use any of this. He hadn't plugged it in. Uh, he plugged in, obviously, the power switch, because you needed to be able to use that. Um, but, yeah, anyway, so I bought it from him, and... Got desk, monitors, whatever. Slowly over the past six months, been buying different things. Webcam, um, mic, mic stand. They're not of the best quality, but they're the basics to set myself up to get me going. Um, I will be upgrading over time again and again. Um, so, yeah, we were downstairs originally in the living room with this PC. And it's set up. But I decided I had this games room upstairs. And where the PC now sits, all I had was a chair. And on this back wall was this TV stand and that needs a new TV we moved that into a different room and some consoles and that um so that's all that was up here was that some consoles all of as you can see collectibles merch all this lot was up here um so we decided no it's going up in the games room however we couldn't do it till November because we're doing a charity stream and we needed the space in the living room for it um, it was a 24-hour charity stream, and there were five of us doing it. So we had, like, four TVs, my PC was on the go, God knows how many consoles, and uh, handhelds, all this lot, a bunch of dogs and that. So obviously we couldn't do it in this room, and we needed the PC for the live stream. So I left it downstairs in November and coped. Upon moving up here in December, um, I discovered how bad my internet was. It was bad when I was downstairs, and I did notice it towards the end of gaming down there. Um... Games would struggle sometimes to get into servers and it would take a while to boot through. But once I got up here, that time, it was like it doubled at points. Um, so we went down the route at first to buying a Wi-Fi extender, which I've done. It's in the hallway just outside this door. Um, and it does do a good job. And uh, it's put me back up to about the speed it was when it was downstairs. So now we've not moved any different. Uh, I am looking about a different broadband provider because it drops in and out and that. But I was looking about trying to get some more internet. So I decided I was going to get a Wi-Fi card. At the same time, I decided I was going to get a sound card because I'm, I'm looking at getting some new speakers. My mic at times, it's not the quality of the mic. It's just because it's running off the motherboard. It's not great times. I want to be able to optimise it a bit more. So I went and bought a sound card as well. We're going to do the cable management and redo that again as well. Uh, which I will show you all of it done once it's actually done we'll do a video but yeah back to the pc so i bought this rig it's not a bad not bad components i think that's what i pretty much bought it for was the components i didn't buy it for that because the price i paid for it <coughs> sorry the price i paid for it was good for the components and that so i only had to purchase i purchased an lg blu-ray player off some other guy which I didn't pay that much for and that was literally just so I had it um, and because it had the slots for it my new tower which you'll see in a minute does not have those slots so we are going to be moving to actually getting a uh, sorry that's the junk drawer we are going to be moving to be getting a USB uh, disk drive so when we do need it however just so you know what there is currently in here the one good thing this guy did even though he wasn't very good at building it is wire management was terrible this is still the wire management from when I got it from him and that I've moved some things around and that, but because I knew I was going to look about getting a new case in the long run, I just didn't know I was going to wait as long. I didn't bother with a wire management. Um, the things that I have put in since then, um, so that if there's been any new fans installed or anything like that, the wire management has been redone. Uh, the hard drive wire management was done because I replaced one of them. Um, 
So yeah, uh, yeah, he was good enough to keep the boxes, uh, which is a good thing. I'll just move that up there, sorry. Uh, so obviously you can see what there was in there. We've got uh -huh, CX750M, the H100i GTX, which I've seen on a lot of YouTubers' uh, videos of builds, and that it does seem to get a lot of use, actually. That's why I believe it is a very good um, cooling system. So... That that was that was a big seller actually to why I picked this one up from what I had I could buy it at the time because I was looking about buying something that was built like I say eight years I didn't know what I was doing exactly I've watched a lot of YouTube videos since which is why I'm now going to try and do this uh, try I know I'll be able to do it. I used to build PCs in my sleep when I was younger but obviously a lot has changed since then so uh, another reason why I got it for the price and that was it was rocking a GTX 970 um, which I didn't know a lot about graphics cards at the time I knew. There was a 980 Ti out and that, um, and I think it wasn't long after I bought this that the 10s started coming out. I will be looking at upgrading to them when I upgrade my motherboard and my processor, um, because I'm looking about possibly getting a bigger motherboard that can house two graphics cards and I might get 1080s. I might just see what's coming out closer to the time, though, and hold off a little while and get the next generation, whatever that is. So yeah, the only thing that lets this down for me primarily is... The motherboard, and as you can see, AMD. I know AMD can be good. Um, I am more of a Intel person and have been over the years. If I've ever bought a laptop or whenever I've gone to help someone else buy a laptop, I've gone for uh, Intel. However, I, I lie about that because my partner's just because we were shopping on a budget at the time. She only needed it for college work. We did buy an AMD for that, but if I remember correctly, it was very very good amd for the price that we're paying um so yeah it's got that and we have a uh fx6300 um sorry 6300 however you want to say it the numbers are still there either way um yeah so obviously the processor isn't bad but considering at the moment i've not done a lot of video rendering and such things like that anyway it hasn't really bothered me that much uh, i'm obviously more for the graphics card um so i mean this runs most things on high to ultra um a lot of things on ultra to be honest and i cannot fault it it's a great graphics card it does what i need it to and um you know considering i haven't been gaming in eight years it it was a good setup for me to begin with and that um so yeah i am looking in the next coming months to a year to probably upgrade the processor depending on funds at the time um I wanted to get the case out of the way because this processor works. The case on the other hand, I do not like at the moment. This one on here. So, yeah. Anyway. So, it's a CIT case, I believe I've researched. Um, it looked nice when I saw it on the pictures, but it is quite cheap plastic. Um, I'm looking to get away from all this housing as well and that on my new case, as you'll see. So, yeah, but... The lad who previously owned it, he wasn't very delicate. One, I had to give this a very good clean when I got it. It does need a bit of one now, but that's because I knew... I, I came to clean it the other day. That's when I looked at the wire management. That's when I made the decision, no, I'm buying a new case now. So I ordered it on Amazon, on my mate's Prime. Yeah, we're naughty like that. Um, but yeah, he wasn't very good, so I haven't cleaned it. I'm going to clean all the components as I take them out and put them in the new case. Uh, and we wire. But yeah, if you look... He broke one of the clips up here trying to get this off so that's not great and that um but yeah it, it's, it's, it's a good case but not a great case there's to be honest it's not even a good case it's an okay case it was okay for what i needed at the time it's got me through the past six months so yeah but anyway so we have upgraded to i did a lot of research on this i wanted something that was a good budget didn't want something too big i wanted i am a massive uh corsair fan as you can tell from some of the choices in that, you know, we've got cooling system, power supply, some of the fans of course there, uh, my keyboard as well, it is Corsair if you can see that. I'm looking about getting a Corsair mouse, uh, I've got that in my, uh, saved and that I am going to be looking to get that soon. Uh, at the moment I just do have a cheap, I think it's like Zealot or something like that, cost me like 10 quid or something it was just so much used that had some button mapping on 
for if I play World of Warcraft or for when I'm playing shooter games, even though sometimes I do use a controller. Oh no, he uses a controller. Well, yeah, go and look at cartoons. He uses a controller. And believe it or not, sometimes we wipe the floor with some of you PC players. You know, we, if, if you've been playing one for years, like I have for the past 10 years using a controller, I do have fairly good reflexes on it, Sam. Yeah, anyway. Uh, anyway, yeah, so this is what we went with. The Carbine Series 400C. So I could have gone for the Q. That would have given me the quieter effect. That isn't what I was after because I'm looking them out, taking out the shelf on the desk there. that You can see some of the pops on. Moving the mic and housing it up there because it has one big, beautiful window that is easy to open and easy to actually see through. So, yeah. Um, like I say, in here we've got the uh, new... Like I say, oh, oh, that's my wire. Just uh, fairly decent, great uh, thingies, um, reviews on the Wi-Fi card. And a, a Zasus DG uh, sound card just because it's a lot better than what I'm currently running off of Fingerboard and was uh, very good. I was going to get the DGX, um, but the current motherboard that I've got only has one Express port, PCI Express, which I obviously needed for this. Um, so I've gone with a DG because that just runs off a PCI normal port. So yeah, that's what we went with. And the last thing I ordered, because we need to be careful, it's not like 10 years ago. Well, even 10 years ago, we needed to be uh, wary of it, but the components didn't cost as much. We have an anti-surge strap. And I'll stick this on. I'll get me going, because obviously I'm on carpet right now. Sorry about the no-shoots. And uh, we will be building it on the desk, though. So, yeah. Anyway, so that's all for now, guys. Once it's built, I will um, do another video. Uh, hopefully, I can get this wire management down. I've got under the desk done at the moment. As you can see, you look under there, all you can see at the moment, you can see that power supply because I pulled it out last night to plug a external hard drive in. Um, but yeah, normally you wouldn't see any of that. As you can see from under there, very hard to see any wires. It does help with the desk. But my wire management is down, so hopefully I can get it down into the case now. So yeah, anyway guys, I'm going to sign off this video now. I'm going to get on with the build and we will do a video when it's done. And we'll also do another room tour probably. Alright guys, see you later now.